kidneys work non-stop to clean your blood and get rid of waste. What you drink can either help or harm them. In this video, we'll share some natural drinks that are not only tasty, but also great for your kidney. Adding these to your daily diet can make a big difference in keeping your kidneys healthy. Let's dive in. Black coffee. If you're a coffee lover, here's some good news. It's actually good for your kidneys. Studies show that regularly drinking black coffee can lower the risk of kidney stones and acute kidney injury. How? Well, one study using genetic data from hundreds of thousands of people found that increasing coffee intake from 1 cup to 1.5 cups a day can reduce the risk of kidney stones by 40. Another study from Johns Hopkins Medicine revealed a 15 lower risk of acute kidney injury with at least one cup of coffee a day compared to non-coffee drinkers. Researchers believe that coffee and caffeine might boost blood flow and oxygen use in the kidneys, protecting them from harm and keeping them filtering well. Coffee's antioxidants and caffeine have anti-inflammatory and diuretic effect, but not all coffee drinks are equally healthy. If you have kidney disease, it's best to stick to black coffee and avoid high potassium or high potassium or high phosphorus milk or sugary high calorie additives. Enjoy your black coffee in moderation and be mindful of how your body reacts. As some people metabolize caffeine slowly, which could affect kidney function, it's always a good idea to consult your doctor before making any big changes to your coffee habit. Unsweetened green tea. Green tea is made from Camellia sinensis plant leaves, which are steamed and dried. Unlike black or oolong tea, green tea stays natural in color and flavor because it skips the oxidation process. Why is it good for your kidneys? Well, your kidneys face risks from free radicals and inflammation, just like other parts of your body. Free radicals are troublemakers that can harm your cells, leading to chronic diseases and kidney problems over time. Here's where green tea steps in to help. It supports your kidney health by tackling these free radicals and reducing inflammation. It's got a powerful antioxidant called epigallocadation 3 gallate which studies show can prevent and maybe even treat chronic kidney disease. Green tea also acts as an astringent and diuretic, making more urine and flushing out toxins from your body. And it might lower your chance of getting kidney stones by stopping calcium oxalate crystals from forming in your urine. For a perfect cup of green tea, keep it unsweetened. Adding sugar or honey takes away its benefits. Instead, try a cinnamon stick or a splash of lemon juice. Adults can aim for three to five cups a day, providing around 250 to 500 meji of action. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Lemon water. Lemon water is easy to make. It's just water with fresh lemon juice. You can have it hot or cold, depending on what you like. Some people add a bit of honey, sugar, or salt to balance the sour taste of lemons. But why is lemon water good for your kidneys? Lemons have citric acid, which helps prevent kidney stones by increasing the EH and urine volume. This makes your urine less concentrated, helping your kidneys clean your blood and remove toxins. Lemon water also keeps you hydrated and gives you vitamin C a powerful antioxidant that shields your cells from damage caused by free radicals. To make lemon water, squeeze half a lemon into a glass of water and drink it in the morning or any time during the day. Be cautious though, as lemon juice's acidity can harm your teeth enamel, making them sensitive and prone to cavities. You can use a straw, rinse your mouth with plain water after drinking, or brush your teeth with fluoride toothpaste to avoid this. Low sugar smoothies. Smoothies can be a tasty way to include fruits and veggies in your diet, giving you essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. They're a satisfying, sweet treat without piling on too many calories. However, it's important to be cautious, as some smoothies can be high in sugar, potassium, phosphorus, and calories, which might not be great for your kidneys. For a kidney-friendly smoothie, use unsweetened Greek yogurt and low-fat milk as your base. Add fresh or frozen berries like blueberries or strawberries for both flavor and color. Sprinkle in some hemp or flax seeds for extra plant-based protein. These berries are not just delicious. They're also good for your kidneys. Packed with antioxidants, they fight against free radicals in your body. Also, strawberries and blueberries are low in oxalate and high in citrate, a substance that can help prevent kidney stones by binding with calcium in your urine and stopping crystal formation with oxalate unsweetened cranberry juice. 
Cranberries are berries that grow in North America and Europe and are famous for preventing urinary tract infections, which can harm your kidneys if not treated. They have prime cyanidins that stop bacteria from sticking to your urinary tract walls. A 2019 study suggested that taking cranberry supplements could reduce urinary tract infection risk by 32 in people with chronic kidney disease, lowering the chances of kidney damage from infections. Unsweetened cranberry juice also has a bonus. It can lower oxidative stress and inflammation, which are tied to the progression of chronic kidney disease. While cranberry juice shows many potential benefits for kidney health in studies, it's crucial to check with your doctor or dietitian before making it a regular part of your routine. It might not be suitable for everyone, especially if you have high blood potassium levels, diabetes, or allergies. Keep your intake to no more than half a cup a day. Red grape. Red grapes may not be a drink, but they're so juicy they almost count as one. They're fantastic for people with kidney disease because they're loaded with resveratrol, a powerful antioxidant that shields your kidneys from harm caused by diabetes, obesity, or poor blood supply. What's more, red grapes are low in sodium, potassium, and phosphorus, the minerals folks with kidney issues need to watch in their diet. Now, how many red grapes should you have for these benefits? There's no exact answer, but the National Kidney Foundation suggests adding a glass of grape juice, or at least 15 grapes a day to your diet. Water. And lastly, we have water. Water is super important for your kidneys. It makes up a big part of your blood, which helps deliver good stuff to your cells and takes away the bad stuff to your kidneys. When you don't drink enough water, your blood gets thick, and it's tough for your kidneys to do their job properly. Not drinking enough water can cause kidney problems like stones, infections, and even kidney failure. Water also does other cool things. It keeps your blood pressure and body temperature just right for your kidneys to work well. How much water should you drink? It depends on things like your age, how active you are, the weather, and your health but a simple rule is to aim for at least eight glasses of water every day. So there you go. These drinks are not just yummy, but also really good for your kidneys and overall health, according to studies. Remember, it's important to enjoy them in moderation, and it's a good idea to talk to your doctor before making any big changes to what you eat or drink. What you drink matters for your kidneys, not just what you eat. We're here for you. Do you have these drinks often, or maybe you know other healthy drinks? Share with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching.